Well, good morning, and can I welcome members to the 11th meeting of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Apologies have been received from Stuart Macmillan, David Torrance and Rachel Hamilton, and we welcome George Adam, who is attending as a substitute for Stuart Macmillan. Agenda item one is a consideration of instruments subject to affirmative procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the following instrument. The Draft Arbitration Scotland Act 2010 Transitional Provisions Order 2016. Is the committee content with this instrument? Yes. Thank you. We are. Agenda item two is a consideration of instruments subject to negative procedure. The first tier tribunal for Scotland Housing and Property Chamber Procedure Regulations 2016, SSI 2016, number 339. The instrument fails to follow normal drafting practice, as several provisions are not drafted in gender-neutral terms. There are several references to he, his or him. The relevant provisions are in Schedule 1, Rule 64A, in Schedule 2, in Form 81L at Part 6B, and in the notes to that form in Paragraphs 2, 3b and 7 there are three references and in 9 2 in the bold type in the notes to form AT1 T at paragraphs 7 there are three references and at 9 2 in bold type in form AT2 in the eighth line of the first paragraph in bold type in the notes to that form at paragraph 2 in the bold type and at paragraph 7, there are three references, and at paragraph 9b, again, in the bold type. In form 83L, in the ninth line of text on page 51, and in part 7, improvements, there are two references. In form 83T, in the ninth line of text on page 57, and in part 7, improvements, there are two references, and in the notes to that form at paragraph 4. In form 85, in the box on page 74, there are three references, in the notes to form 86 at paragraphs 4.2, 6.6, 6.7, 6.8, 6.9, and in 9, paragraph 9, there are five references. Paragraph 11, there are three references. In the form 87, in the box on page 86 at note 2, in paragraph 4 on page 87, there are three references, and in paragraph 5a on page 88. On account of these failures to draft in gender-neutral terms, does the committee agree to draw the regulations to the attention of Parliament on the general reporting grounds? Excellent, many thanks. And does the committee wish to note that the Scottish Government intends to replace the rules in the instrument and the forms in Schedule 2 by means of a further instrument to be laid in 2017? And that instrument would be drafted in general terms. So we're we happy to note that. Thank you. At the same time, does the committee agree that the opportunity should have been taken in this instrument to have drafted the provisions in accordance with the normal practice? Thank you. So, no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the following instrument. The Court Fees Miscellaneous Amendments Scotland Order 2016, SSI 2016, number 332. So, is the committee content with that instrument? Thank you. However, and notwithstanding that, does the committee agree that it was an unusual and not wholly satisfactory situation that the business and regulatory impact assessment and the equality impact assessment were not made publicly available at the time the order was laid before Parliament, although copies were provided to the committee after the order was laid? Do you agree that's unusual? Thank you. Does the committee also consider it's unusual and not wholly satisfactory that the non-confidential public responses to the Scottish Government's consultation and the consultation analysis are unavailable for consideration. Thank you. 
And so we move to item three, which is consideration of the Legislative Consent Memorandum on the UK Parliament's Policing and Crime Bill. <coughs> Under this item, the committee is invited to consider the powers to make subordinate legislation conferred on the Scottish ministers in the bill. A briefing paper has been provided that sets out the relevant aspects of the bill and comments on their effect. Does the committee agree to report to the lead committee that it is content with the one delegated power conferred on the Scottish ministers in the bill and the procedure to which that power is subject. Thank you. And so I now close the meeting, as that's it for today. Thank you very much. <laughs>